Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, Home Push here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It is 1049 in the evening on October 31st, Sunday, October 31st, 1049 in the evening. And uh, we have a warning for uh, California with Quake Forecast warning. And uh, we're going to look at that uh, forecast map right now. We've been talking about this uh, situation for the last about three weeks, and uh, the risk can, continues to build across to California. Uh, back on uh, the in in October, the beginning of October, we had like it was like a forty. No, it was forty nine uh, risk units across northwest of uh, L.A. up here in. Uh, Northwest of Los Angeles, and then it was uh, 56, I believe, a little bit after that, a couple of weeks after that. And right now, uh, as we put out a warning a couple of days ago, it was up at uh, 61, 61 units of risk, and uh, continues to rise now. Um, in the last forecast uh, video, you saw we had a discrepancy because we didn't know if it was going to hit in the north, uh, in the San Francisco Bay or near Los Angeles or Northwest of Los Angeles. Well, this uh, forecast data that's coming out now shows two hotspots, one right here in San Francisco Bay, right there just south of San Francisco and the other one Northwest of Los Angeles. And uh, so we have two risk areas looking for a strong earthquake and uh, 7.0 earthquake is likely, it's not guaranteed, but it's likely in California because of that 61 units of risk that came out a couple of days ago. So let's uh, take a look at this. Here's the uh, risk map for California, a hot spot right there in San Francisco Bay, also Northwest of Los Angeles. And here's the risk graph, the current risk graph for San Francisco Bay. It shows a peak here at about two o'clock in the afternoon. However, it, this earthquake could hit anytime between now and tomorrow, uh, the first on this uh, spike in risk here on in the San Francisco Bay here. Let's take a look at some of the other cities that we have information for, data for. Here's uh, the Coalinga Parkfield area, which is south and southeast of uh, San Francisco Bay. And that one has uh, the peak in risk in the morning of November 1st. So again, the risk is in between now and the first anytime during uh, November 1st on uh, Monday. So uh, look out for this uh, strong earthquake in California. Let's look at uh, El Centro down near the Salton Sea. That has a spike in risk right around noon tomorrow, Monday, November 1st. And then let's take a look at Eureka. Eureka has a spike in risk just a couple hours from now, right around uh, midnight or one o'clock in the morning. So this quake, uh, is likely to hit anytime during the next uh, 24 hours, uh, most likely around noon tomorrow on Monday, November 1st, but it could hit anytime between now and the next 24 hours. And one more, a uh, couple more to check here. Oh, this is Los Angeles here. And you notice this is the other uh, forecast map we have. We have a very high risk northwest of LA, and we have a very high risk uh, near San Francisco Bay. So we have two hot spots. So it's going to hit in either one of those. It could we could get a strong earthquake in both of those, but most likely one or the other. And here's the Los Angeles uh, uh, warning graph. Here it uh, shows at about uh, ten in the morning in the Los Angeles graph. So anytime between now and uh, tomorrow, anytime tomorrow. So during the next twenty four hours, looking for a. Uh, Seven point earthquake is, is uh, likely in California. Uh, even more likely is a 6.5 earthquake in California. So uh, again, uh, the 7.0 earthquake is not guaranteed to happen, but all the ingredients are coming together. Now you saw the, uh, they called it a bomb cyclone off the west coast of California. It was a record storm uh, in low pressure um, and winds and such off the coast of California. Back, um, I don't know, it was a week or two ago, about a week ago, I think. 
But, and the, the reason for that is in the magnetic field across California, there's a blockage in the, in the magnetic field and it, it caused that uh, storm to go around California because there was a blockage in the field of energy across California. And that's what's showing up here is uh, near San Francisco Bay in Northwest of LA. And uh, so we should see that quake coming tonight, tonight or tomorrow, most likely around noon on Monday. Let's take a look at some of the other areas. Here's one for the Anchorage, Alaska. We had a spike in risk on the 31st here. On this spike here, there was a 5.6 earthquake happened southwest of Anchorage on this spike in risk here. Another 100% risk coming up on November 2nd. So watch for a significant earthquake on November 2nd uh, in the Anchorage area. Athens, Greece, we have a strong spike in risk coming up on November 5th. So uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely within 200 kilometers of Athens, Greece on November 5th. And a smaller earthquake here coming up late on November 1st into November 2nd. But it looks like a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely on the 5th of November in Athens, Greece. And in the Tokyo area, we have a strong uh, area of risk here off the uh, east of Tokyo on the 1st through the 3rd. And let's take a look at the, uh, well, first of all, we had a significant earthquake down here, uh, southwest of Shizuoka here. Um, let's take a look at that real quick. Right here, let's zoom in there. 5.1 hit uh, south of Osaka. Uh, that was in right in this area here in this high risk area. Now the risk is shifted to east of Tokyo. And we just had a 5.2, according to the Japanese uh, earthquake center there, it was a 5.2, uh, just northeast of Tokyo, right in this area near Ibaraki. But still very high risk uh, just off the coast there of Chiba during the next uh, 24 hours. And here's the risk graph. You can see that 5.2 hit right on this spike in risk here. And we have another peak coming up on the 2nd of November. So still a 6.0 is uh, not at the question, still possible uh, east of Tokyo near Chiba during the next uh, 24 hours. All right, once again for California, a uh, very strong earthquake is coming to California during the next uh, 24 hours, most likely at about noon on November 1st, Monday, November 1st, tomorrow. Uh, so we will, uh, we will check back tomorrow with you and uh, give you an update on that. But it should hit before our next uh, video. And uh, looking for a 7.0 earthquake is likely, uh, not guaranteed, but likely across California, most likely here near the San Francisco Bay in this hot spot right here, just south of San Francisco, or northwest of Los Angeles. And you can see in our Los, Los Angeles uh, risk map, there's a hot spot right here, northwest of LA. So either, either way, we're gonna have a strong earthquake in uh, California during the next 24 hours, most likely at about noon on Monday, but anytime between now and tomorrow evening in California. Thank you so much for your support. We have uh, over 170,000 followers on uh, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you so much for your support and watch for that strong earthquake in California during the next 24 hours. And thank you so much, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe.